What's good y'all, the Avatar Live Action Show is finally here, and I've gotta say, it had a pretty lucky start pre-release. Between saying they were changing some characterization moments, to describing the overall feel they wanted to be more Game of Thrones like, I mean, they had the whole world in the palm of their hands when that first trailer dropped, but then... Butterfingers! They let it slip by trying to clue people into too many things early on, and reviews and reception have been tearing it apart, but I'ma just say this, some of y'all are just straight trifling with y'all criticisms. Ain't no way y'all think this Shyamalan movie was better than this. Cause, I'ma be honest, while I don't think it was amazing, it's nowhere near the dumpster fire people are making it out to be. This could be, be because I'm more lenient when it comes to pilot seasons, since they need to figure out, you know, what works or what doesn't work, and how to implement certain changes. Stuff like that matters when they cut out a lot and want to streamline stories. And this is obviously where a lot of the, the criticisms come from. People have problems with certain changes, and in some cases, it leads to interactions not hitting like they should. For instance, seeing Ko for the first time didn't feel nearly as stressful as it did in the original, where it felt like one wrong move could mess things up. Plus, there were definitely some questionable choices made, like not having Aang loan any water bending in the book titled Waddle, or not having Zhao fall to his own arrogance in the finale. However, there were some changes that I did like. It was pretty cool seeing Kyoshi come back to defend the island from Invaders. I don't know if it's because the fandoms in love with Kyoshi, but it seems like they're leaning into using her more. Sadly, that means Roku sort of, sort of took a back seat, so hopefully we'll be seeing more of him in the future. So, speaking of the characters, this is probably where most of my dislike for the live action adaptation came, came from. The casting was good, the costumes were on point. I just wish they had better writing to work with. I feel like changing Aang to be more serious doesn't work well. It's almost like they want to make him still seem close to that fun goofy child by mentioning things like Airball, but he just comes off as kinda mopey. There wasn't much push and pull of responsibility as he balances being the avatar with wanting to just live the life he missed out on for 100 years. And this is one thing about adaptations I'm always cautious of. It's fine to make changes, but the overall message should still be the same, just told in a different way. And I think they missed the mark there. Another thing that rubbed me the wrong way is them removing Sokka's more sexist view of the world. Early on, it's used as a moment to humble him and have a chance of growth. On top of that, if you wanted to remove that aspect because it's more outdated, I don't think changing the plotline into Suki immediately throws things over, over Sokka does you any favors. And this is kind of a trend I'm seeing where there's an overcorrectness of outdated views, even when they're treated as a bad thing. Usually in media, moments like those are used as a learning experience or to start a conversation, and you'll be missing out on those if you just avoid the topic altogether. Plus, I would hardly say calling a subplot like that is outdated nowadays. On a positive note though, I did really like how they portrayed Zuko. They really were able to, to, to capture that that desperation, anger, and longing of wanting to go home. I enjoyed Ivo as well. Even though he wasn't as much of, of comedic relief like in the original, he played that wise, older father figure very well. Now, let's talk about bending. I do want to say the CGI in the show looks great. Every element looks fantastic in motion, and even the weird animals and spirit creatures didn't feel out of place. The only areas where they were lacking in that aspect were the backgrounds, because those looked rough in multiple scenes. Anyway, my main problem with the bending is that it no longer feels like an extension of martial arts. It looks like magic slowly being cast rather than one fluid motion that connects into the next. But of course, that lack of fluidity could be contributed to the bad cinematography during fight scenes. I mean, they're plagued with constant jump cuts that reduce the impact of hits, and so much slow motion that it feels like I'm watching a Zack Snyder film. They break up the action so much it's even sometimes hard to follow what's going on in that shot. Saying all of this though, I do think they nailed Zuko's fighting style. His more acrobatic breakdancing style is really put on display in most of the fight scenes. But along with that, I do think there were a few fight scenes that showed some signs of life. Aang and Zuko's fighting in Amashu was good for the choreography because it really leaned back into that silliness of the original series. Then Katawa and Zuko's fight and parts of Katawa and Parker's fight were really good to me. I think they work best because 1. They cut back on the things I just mentioned, and 2. They show the versatility of waterbending. So while they're having places they can improve on, I don't think they're too far from giving us the bending battles everyone expects. 
there are so many criticisms you can have with this adaptation, but you know what? Despite all that, I still had fun. Whenever I finish an episode, I always found myself wanting to dive right into the next one. And sure, whenever a company wants to touch a beloved IP for a live action version, there's always the chance for a, ma- for a massive amount of scrutiny. Trust me, I've been there. If you sit there and constantly compare it to the source instead of viewing it as its own thing, of course you're not going to have a good time. No, it's not our childhood, but I think the crew and especially the cast really do care. So, I'm going to remain optimistic that they can clean it up enough to make something great in the second season. Anyway, that's going to be it for me. Let me know what you thought of the live action Avatar, although I have a feeling that most of it will be negative. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.